What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Rule Breaker Nyan Golan. He is a 85 rated cam. He has had a whopping increase on his pace, a little bit taken off his defense and shooting. Can he be worth 350,000 coins? We're going to get into this review. We're going to see basically, is he worth it? What can you do? Other options. And also, who does he link with? So we're going to go through the in-game stats. We're going to go through gameplay and the end review as we always do. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you do drop a like and a follow or a subscribe. It's it's not Twitch, but if you want to drop a subscribe, then that is always appreciated. We are trying to hit 10k before the end of FIFA 22. Hopefully we can do and go beyond. But at the moment, we're taking each milestone as we go trying to get as many reviews out as possible for you and really give you that in, de in detailed kind of uh, opinion about him. And I'm really trying to really make these a little bit more informative, kind of going over things that I personally don't hear in reviews. And, and there is a thing, if you kind of hear a video of mine and you've kind of subscribed and you think, He's a little bit quiet today. Well, what's what's going on? It does. It means that I'm doing it at night, and obviously I'm trying not to wake anyone up. But it's the perfect time for me to get reviews done um, in the household. Obviously, with a little one now in the house, it's very difficult to get in the daytime with work. With then looking after her, and I keep hitting my mic stand. I do try and be quiet. So if if it is a little bit quiet. If we could just go along at the moment, we are trying to get to the point where we can move house and probably get a bigger room and all of that good stuff. But that is all to come. So right now we have nine goal and I can be as loud as I want. So let's get into it and look at his in-game stats. So he is coming in at 350,000 coins on the Xbox, 357 on the PlayStation and 447 on the PC. He is a Belgium cam in Inter Milan and he is 85 rating with the three star, three star. He's right footed, stands at five foot nine with a high high work rate and the main, what, what, what did he get upgraded the rule breakers are all about switching and moving stats what is nine golden's stat of choice so he got a let's just change it so it makes it a bit easier a plus 14 on his pace a minus 11 on his dribbling a plus three on his shooting plus two on his passing dribbling and physical so as a cam I don't mind whatsoever. As a CM, it's awful. Taking that much off his defense would be crippling. But for me, Nine Golem is definitely, definitely a cam. He still manages to track back, and obviously with that high, high work rate, you do need to either keep him up front and keep him stay forward, which he still will try and kind of... It'll, it'll come back every now and then. But for, for me, I was trying to see how far does he come back. And you'll see in a few of the clips, he is at the edge of our box. And he is tackling. He's even at one point gone to the corner flag of our box and managed to tackle someone from there. His work rates do make him go absolutely everywhere. So you want to make sure he is stay forward. And it, it he still does creep back, but not as much with that custom tactics on. In terms of stats then, let's get back onto the uh, rule breaker one. We have 85 pace, which is 85-85. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Really good pace increase there. We've got 87 positioning or attacking positioning, 78 finishing, 89 shot power, and 92 long shots. So not bad. Bad on the shooting already. We are looking to possibly upgrade that with a chem style. We've got 87 and 84 short and long pass. We've got 91 stamina, 90 aggression. The aggression is important because he only has 77 strength. But because he's got that aggression, I feel like it's then down to how you tackle and really how you kind of move him to get that tackle in. And the strength part of it kind of just comes with the aggression really. Other than that, we've got 86 composure, we've got 77 agility, 85 balance and dribbling, 86 ball control and 87 reaction. So very nice all round over there. And in terms of chem style, what we would be using, people are liking the shadow. Um, whether I'd like that, I feel like that's going heavily on the defense. If you're playing him more as a center mid, I think that would be a really nice little tactic to use. And I think the second one is an anchor, which for me, I don't, I don't quite get. I feel like he is more of an attacking player. So I'd be looking at something like maybe even a hunter. I don't know if that's just me, but a cam center forward definitely wants to be pushing up, definitely wants to be going in and, and attacking that, uh, that box rather than focusing on his defense. I don't know. Let me know down below what you'd think. Where would you put nine goal in of your team? If you packed him untradeable right now and he does fit, say he fits wherever you want to put him, would you put him cam, CM, and I don't even need to put CDM. Is he going to be a cam or a CM? That's going to be the question of the day. So if you want to answer that down below, make sure you comment. And if you're there, just drop that like button. Go on. It's always good for the algorithm if you do. So thank you again for that. But for me, I think a hunter 
or even something like a finisher would be more beneficial for him. I feel like the Hunter is the easy choice to go for. You do get an 89 rated cam center forward if you go with finisher. And you get an 87 cam, 88 center forward with the pace increase from a Hunter. So let me know down below what you'd actually go for there. I personally would go with cam and I'd go Hunter and then finisher if I'm really not feeling it. And I want him to kind of be more, more of a dribbling player rather than just absolutely burst of pace. But anyway, let's get into some gameplay and see how he got on. So with nine golden, I personally thought he was a cracking little player. He's really good on that kind of uh, that interceptions. And we see here, this is kind of like the first few clips was basically showing him more as a kind of center mid of anything. I didn't have the custom tactics on because I wanted to see what a high, high work, work rate did with no custom tactics on in terms of player instructions. Obviously, the position and all that and balance was already on. So we already have the position side of him. But you can see how far he actually comes back in that more CM role. And for me, I didn't like it at all. I thought he was just not quite amazing to, to play with as a like almost a defensive centre mid. He is mainly an attacker and that is how I like him. And I think definitely with the increase of pace, with the increase on shooting, he that, that's the position he needs to be. We see it here. We try and go for that cheeky ball, but we go with the, the nice little tactic that I think works every now and then. A few little keepy ups. We managed to kind of brush this guy off, bring it across. We do win it back over here, pass it to him. And then again, we are trying to kind of win that strength battle on. We Managed to get it right to the byline, give the little cross up cross, and unfortunately the keeper does manage to punch it away, but that's what he brings, and I think he's a creative player. He's a little player that kind of has that dribbling on him. He's really good at getting in behind and really playing them passing. He's very much like a Costa, just not quite the same sort of stats on this version, but he definitely has the, the potential to be a really, really good player and really probably open up a lot of defenses if he was just a little bit higher rated. Would I say the price is justified? I'm not too sure just yet. We see here managing to get past. We're looking for that option. Unfortunately, it wasn't there in that time. And this is kind of like now the points where I'm going with Cam. I really saw more of a difference with him. And even then, we can see him running across here. We get the ball across and he's just misses that's what we need we need an absolute clatter in there dive do whatever throw an arm out he needs to be scoring them especially in foot champs that is a perfect opportunity but let's get into the end review and see how i viewed of him so if we go into the overall fort nine goal and honestly he is a nice player is he 350,000 coins worth i probably wouldn't say yes in terms of Obviously, what he got upgraded, he got a, a, obviously a lot taken off of his, of his defense. He got a lot taken up on his pace. For me, I don't think he's worth that extra 340,000 coins compared to his gold card. I'm not saying his gold card is exactly the same. I feel like this rule breaker is miles better than the gold nine golem in personally, my opinion, after playing with a Serie A team, um, I did use him as more of a center mid cam as well. And definitely the rule breaker was 10 times better in terms of pushing forward. In terms of CM kind of role, very similar. And I think that's something you got to take from it. Yes, this one has more pace, but you don't really see it too much if you, if you are being almost clever with your defense if you're jockeying if you're kind of being that not necessarily rushing in and making so many challenges you don't really notice too much bar from when they're running past you you will notice the difference on the kind of the more prolonged sprint the acceleration and all of that is it's there you can see it but i think as it kind of goes over time you'll see him getting getting blown away by so many people but for me 350k for this card just isn't worth it in my opinion I would say wait until he drops, but honestly, I've said that with the Harry Kane one, and he has not budged an absolute inch. So whether these actually do drop yet, it all depends on if they bring out Team 1 and Team 2 in the same in the same packs, then would have a little bit of a higher rate. Even if we, we got a guaranteed rule breaker, that would be an incredible SBC to bring a lot of these prices down, because at the minute, I think they're far too inflated. I just can't see how he can be 350k at an 85 with... Pretty good stats, but I could I could name a few decent cams that really would blow this one out of the water, to, to be honest, or at least be as good of and would cost probably not even, probably less than a tenth of the cost, in my opinion. And and that's just what it is. I think the freestyle star, free star holds him back. Obviously, the pace is a really nice increase. We've got a bit more shooting. Doesn't really ma make too much of a difference. Passing, again, is very similar. Dribbling's very nice. I think that got a plus two. So it, it's, it's a nice increase, but again... 
it's very minimal. We obviously lost a lot of defending. For me as a cam, I don't think that's too much to worry about. And then obviously with the physicality, again, it is very similar. Gaining two more, two more stamina, two more aggression, and two more strength. For me, that really isn't warranting of 300,000 extra coins, in my opinion. Like I said, in chem style, I don't quite get why they're so defensive. Personally, I would definitely be whacking a hunter or a finisher on him. You can see right here, sent cam as center forward. That, for me, is exactly where I'd want him. I don't know many people that would want him as more of a CDM, CM. For me, I just think that's a waste in position for him. He's only a small guy. He gets in, he gets out. He's got a nice little balance on him. He can move the ball from left to right and overall is a nice little uh, nice little assist player. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe while you're down there, that is always appreciated as well. And I will see you all for the next one. Peace.